Good morning. This meeting of the Blair County Board of Commissioners is called to order. Uh, we're going to begin with a moment of silent reflection, after which we'll stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nicole, are we joined by anybody remotely? Recording has started. Yes, we are. Lindsay Dempsey? Thank you. Is there anyone else joining us remotely this morning? I'm not hearing anyone else, sir. That is roll. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, commissioners received draft copies of the minutes of the uh, May 9th and 11th board meetings. Is there a motion to approve those minutes? Commissioner Webster, I'll make that motion. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 They are approved. Uh, uh, and we'll now open the meeting to any public comment. Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning, everyone. Uh, like Excuse me, just for the record, so that you have it, would you say who um, announced your name and Certainly. your positions? Thank you. My name's Eric Kay. I'm the Director of Veterans Affairs here at the County of Blair. Uh, Jim Fuller, Charge of Facilities Maintenance. Uh, I'm Avenue, I'm going to be at 16602. Brief request. Uh, thank you, commissioners and staff, for hearing this kind of special request at the last minute. Uh, in honor of the men and women of the U.S. Armed Forces who made the ultimate sacrifice and gave their lives in service of our nation, I joined Facilities Supervisor Jim Fuller in requesting that the lighting on the exterior of the building be modified to red, white, and blue lights uh, for the period beginning Saturday, May 27th through Monday, uh, May 30th of 2023. Uh, Jim and myself agree that this can serve as a reminder to all citizens of Blair County uh, that while Memorial Day acts as the unofficial start of the summer season uh, with pools and parks opening, uh, barbecues and backyards and other long-awaited outdoor activities, it is imperative that we all look upon our national colors and take a brief moment of remembrance over the holiday weekend to reflect upon the many lives that have been lost in pursuit of the ideals that our national colors represent. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Is there any other public comment at this time? Good morning, commissioners. My name is Jack McCain. I'm with WTH News. I'm here to ask about uh, the status of the third provisional certificate of compliance the Department of Human Services has issued to uh, Blair County children, youth, and families. Thank you for your comment. This isn't a question and answer, it's public comment, sir. Okay. So, do you have any other public comment? Uh, I do not. At this time. Thank you, thanks. Thank you. Is there any other public comment? All right. We're going to continue with our series on the uh, CCAP County Government Priorities Legislatively for 2023 with Commissioner Burke. Thank you. Um, we have talked before about the increase in the number of complex cases that CYF and social services work on and also an increase in the degree of complexity that those cases involve. This increase in complexity is a large part of the burnout experienced by workers in many related industries, um, included, including not just social work, um, social services and CYF, but also nursing and teaching and really any profession in which um, people are trying to help other people. Um, in those professions where the goal is to help people, and especially children, there are tremendous barriers preventing us from achieving success. And simply defined, complex cases are those where a child experiences an intersection between 
mental health, substance abuse, whether their own or that of a caregiver, and or a, a developmental disability. Um, we often see older children who have involvement with the juvenile justice system that adds a, an additional layer of complexity. Although the system favors keeping children with family and in familiar situations in order to reduce trauma, there are situations where placement is necessary because the child's needs cannot be met in the community or because there is a safety issue that cannot be mitigated without placement. However, we lack appropriate options for placements for these kids with complex needs. Anecdotally, we have heard of other child welfare agencies in other counties who license their own employees' homes as foster care so that they can send children home with workers. Here in Blair County, when we are unable to find placement for a child, they stay in our office during the day unless we can find an in-person educational resource for them. Overnight, they stay in hotels and are monitored by two staff members at a time. We have had at least two situations, in, in my knowledge, in the past year where this was necessary. This is not only an immense burden on an agency that is already short-staffed, it also fails to provide any sort of treatment to address the underlying needs of the child. We are acutely aware that this is not the best thing for these kids, but we have no other options. The frustration that comes with this knowledge may actually be more harmful to the morale of our employees than the stress and exhaustion of providing this 24-hour coverage. While we receive good cooperation from social services and our providers, such as Blair Health Choices and BDAP, in assessing complex cases and looking for both services and placements for the children, there are simply not enough facilities that will take these children, and perhaps more importantly, that will keep these children. There is nothing worse than having a child sent back to us because they acted out in a way typical for a person with their diagnoses by the very place that was supposed to be helping them. It is a failure of our system and our society that this is allowed to happen and that it happens with such frequency. We need contracting policies enforced by the state to prevent facilities who receive taxpayer money from rejecting or ejecting kids who meet the criteria for admission to their facilities. Furthermore, to be proactive and reduce costs, an increase in mental health base funds would increase the likelihood that complex needs could be addressed in the community with services instead of requiring placement. I want to emphasize that this should be base funding and not grant funding. Grant funding requires more administrative work and cost to facilitate. I will point out, I already have employees who spend two or more hours on paperwork for every hour they spend serving families directly. None of us needs more paperwork. I am once again asking the state legislature to support and vote in favor of an increase to the mental health base funding. Thank you very much, Commissioner Booth. Uh, we're gonna continue uh, with our series next week. Uh, on another uh, CCAP legislative priority, which is to promote election integrity. Um, item eight, consent agenda. Thank you, we do have a small consent agenda, which is unusual for a Thursday, but without the uh, full board, we were able unable to approve a few things. That is resolution number 246, a, item A is payment of invoices received to Blair Senior Services in the total amount of $692.90 ratification of one warrantless as outlined in item B, and item C, requesting approval for a Mount Aloysius College intern uh, as outlined on your agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? No, I might have to make that motion, sorry. I'm sorry, thank you. I'm looking at that thing, yeah, there are. Um, I will uh, make the motion uh, for the approval of the consent agenda. Is there a second? I will second the motion, but I do have an abstention. Those in favor of the consent agenda um, approval, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Mm -hmm. well, I am an aye with an abstention to the payments to Blair Senior Services and the payment to Thomas and Shannon before. And I am an aye, except that I have to abstain <laughs> from item C regarding the Fort Robledo internship. The consent agenda is approved with the abstentions noted and we'll uh, go through our and begin our unfinished business under item 9. Nicole. Thank you. The first resolution for your consideration today is number 247. That's approving the acceptance of the fiscal year 21-22 medical assistance transportation program allocation as outlined on your agenda. 
I'd like to motion for the adoption of resolution 247. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? In favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Resolution 248 is approving the submission of the revision three to the state fiscal year 21 22 income and expense report as outlined on your agenda. I'll make a motion for the adoption of resolution 248. Is there a second? Mr. Webster, second. Is there any discussion? Favor the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 I was supposed to abstain on the 247. We'll uh, <laughs> go Sorry. back and mark uh, <laughs> the and miss and the miss that thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll one. change the second. Amy's willing to do I that. Did, yeah. Okay. Second, Commissioner Webster, that's okay. <laughs> right. That's fine. Uh, for our practice. <laughs> <laughs> we got a lot of that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think the right consent right. agenda threw everyone out. Um, okay, so then we go ahead and we approved 248. Uh, this is resolution 249, approving an affordable housing trust fund dis disbursement in an amount not to exceed $20,000 for operation safe space to assist in providing housing services for those being relocated from inhabitable living commissions. I'll make a motion for the adoption of resolution 249. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? I'm going to make uh, one comment on this. I uh, uh, had uh, sat through most of the Affordable Housing Trust Fund board meeting, advisory board meeting, where this uh, recommendation was made. And while I realize that this is an emergency situation and certainly uh, uh, needed, uh, this is, I'm not sure how well this fits in the total um, mission of the Affordable Housing Trust uh, and as a result, I'm going to vote in favor of this at this time. It is, uh, unfortunately, it's not a long-term solution. Really, what affordable housing trust fund funds are for are for things that are more of a permanence and a permanence in housing. So, just wanted to, to note that. I I also did want to mention um, Commissioner Webster and I were at Southern Allegheny's Planning and Development Commission meeting yesterday, um, and one thing that came up um, in discussion was the whole. Um, house repair program um, and it was felt that throughout our southern Allegheny's region which is um, not just Blair County but also uh, Somerset, Bedford, Cambria, Huntington, and Fulton that um, people are not aware of the existence of that program so um, we do want to make sure that that we have resources available for people to be aware of what's out there and, and how to apply if they qualify. So. And, and I think our social services uh, office is working on that uh, as we um, as we actually get all the uh, our, our rules and uh, uh, policies together for that, but that's a good point. Is there any other discussion? It's in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Resolution 250 is approving a fiscal year 22-23 purchase of service agreement and a HIPAA business associate agreement between the County of Blair, Blair County Children, Youth and Families, and Children Aid Society of Clearfield County. Is there a motion for the adoption of Resolution 250? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? <clears throat> Is in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Resolution 251 is approving a fiscal year 22-23 purchase of service agreement and a HIPAA business associate agreement between the County of Blair, Blair County Children, Youth and Families, and Presley Ridge. Is there a motion for the adoption of Resolution 251? So moved. Is there a second? Commissioner Webster, second. Is there any discussion? It's in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Resolution 252 is approving the submission of a senior judge chamber and support staff application for senior judge reimbursement costs as outlined on your agenda. Is there a motion for the adoption of Resolution 252? So moved. Is there a second? Mr. Webster, second. Is there any discussion? It's in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Resolution 253 is approving a 2023 price, pricing agreement between the County of Blair and Proactive Sports as outlined on your agenda. Is there a motion for the adoption of Resolution 253? Mr. Webster, I'll make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? It's in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 
Resolution 254 is approving the 22, 20, I'm sorry, 23-24 P-Corp commercial insurance renewal proposal received in the total premium amount of $455,504 for the policy period of June 1st, 2023 through June 1st, 2024 at the uh, payment option as outlined on your agenda. I'll make a motion for the adoption of Resolution 254. Is there a second? Mr. Webster, second. Is there any discussion? In favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Resolution 255 is approving the acceptance of the 22-23 P-Corp Loss Prevention Grant Award in the total amount of $13,515 as outlined on your agenda. I'll make a motion for the adoption of Resolution 255. Is there a second? Mr. Webster, second. Is there any discussion? Those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Approved. Resolution 256 is approving the dissolution or the dissolvent, dissolvement of the Solid Waste Authority. Is there a motion for Resolution 256? Mr. Webster, I'll make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion? Those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 It's approved. We've uh, completed unfinished business. We have no old business at this time. We do have one uh, item of new business, uh, and this is a request from we received from John Frederick from uh, on behalf of Antis Township. Uh, and while the um, agenda reads and they ask for uh, essentially in their letter for a letter of commitment, what it actually is is a letter of support. There is no financial commitment on behalf of the county on this. This is just a letter of support for their submission for a, a DCED Greenways uh, grant for uh, the uh, Bellwood Annis Community Park project upgrades. These upgrades include uh, kind of, I guess, playground infrastructure in the sense it's for playground equipment, uh, picnic tables, benches, waste containers, some trail amenities. And so we have been asked to uh, submit a letter of support in uh, for their grant application. Um, any questions on that? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll make a motion then that we uh, approve this letter of, uh, of commitment or support. Is there a second? Mr. Webster, second. Is there any other discussion? Those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. Right. It is approved. We've reached the end of our agenda. We're going to adjourn at this time and thank everybody for their participation in today's meeting.